You don't have to tell anybody that's a Christian these days that there's many contentions in the churches divided by denominations and bishops and doctrines. All these things divide us from one another. But Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be in the midst also. That is the important thing. Looking at uh, Galatians, I was just looking at Galatians this morning, um, and um, Galatians, Ephesians. Galatians, uh, I think it was a fifth chapter. Um, yes, the fifth chapter of Galatians. Starting at verse seven, he did what you ye did run well. Let's get my uh, 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 I'm really tongue. Start all over. Galatians chapter five, verse seven. Starting there, ye did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? It's talking about. Having begun in the spirit, now they're in the flesh. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. This is the truth here. That those who are godly shall suffer persecution. I would they were even cut off, which trouble you. Wow, that's powerful. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love serve one another, for all the law all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Verse sixteen This I say then walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, note this one, verse 18, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, Variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Let me read that one more time. They that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another envying one another. It's the Word of God, which is the bread of life, and every day we should read this first thing in the morning, last last thing at night, and during the day. But if we corrupt ourselves and become entangled again in the bondage of sin and death, especially if we become entangled again where we came out of, uh, this is very dangerous because we already, if we came out, God brought us out, and we go back in. Uh, there remaineth no more uh, place for repentance after after a point. 
and it has happened to many according to the true proverb. The dog has returned to his vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. May God bless you today. Keep the faith. Stay clean in the word. Avoid all appearances of evil. And trust in the Lord. And he will direct your path. Amen.